Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Yeah, KG Auto, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, you're quite welcome. If you're an old customer, I appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. May the Lord bless you as you continue to watch my video and like it too. Anyway, today I'll be working on this 2012 is a Honda Accord 2.4 liter. I'm going to be replacing the crankshaft position sensor. Crank, not cam. Crank shaft. The reason why I'm replacing it is sometimes the car is giving a, like a hard start. You know, when you crank it, crank it all the way up. So why is it start? You know, so the car has been diagnosed. I'm going to bring you guys along show you where it's located and what it's going to take to do that if you know exactly where it's located and you can take it out you can put in the new one having said that kg you know my slogan let's go we're getting it shout out to brooklyn brooklyn in the house let's spread love in brooklyn way i'm giving away the hbo special today you know what's the HBO special? Help a brother out. Love you. Let's go. We're getting it right now. KG. Big Shirley. I didn't say that. Okay. Big Shirley. Hey girl, how you doing? Alright, follow me. So I'm underneath the car right now. Uh I'm gonna say I'm right, let's just say we're in the middle. So this is the transmission right here. Hope you guys can see that's the transmission. So in most cars, the 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 crank shaft position sensor is always located between the transmission and the engine. So this is the transmission. So this is the engine right here. This is the uh, oil pan. This is the oil filter. Maybe that can give you a better view. That's the oil filter. So the guy is located right in here. So there are two bolts that you need to take off. I'm gonna try to do that. Take this one out already, break it loose already. This is another one right here. Uh, this is a four cylinder now, so every car is different. So I know this car that I'm doing is gonna be the same with uh, 2008 going down to 12. Okay, so see the plug right there? That's where the plug is located. So this is the guy we're after. So we need to take off this guy you squeeze it then you take it out it might be difficult sometimes just take your time don't bring that on it you take it out so now let me bring it see that's the guy right there so there is a 10 bolt that we need to take out that's why i was saying i can't be able to but at least you know where it's located now when i take out that 10 bolt then i try to take this thing out then i'll bring you guys back so let's do that stay tuned don't go nowhere now don't skip the channel make sure you subscribe 10 boats that'll be holding this guy right here once you take off that 10 boat you just want to be mindful of taking this thing off so you don't want to break it so what i advise you to do there was a there was a plier that i use uh, let me show you yeah i use this guy right here after i've twisted I use this guy right here to grab it, turn it a little bit, then I was able to pull it out. This is it. That's where it's located and that's it right there. So you can be able to do it. Booyah! Not only you know where it's located, you will be able to do it. I just wanted to show you how, where it's located and uh, what it takes to do that. Uh, please support your boy subscribe and uh, give the video so that's it i just wanted to show you where it's located and uh, what it takes to do it i'll wait for the new one and uh, i won't be able to bring you guys back because i have that job that i i need to take care of or at least you know where it's located and uh, how to do it. if you can take it out the same way you took it out you will be able to be able to put it back in Please uh, subscribe, support your boy in any way you can. Thanks for watching. God bless you. I will see you next time on my next episode. KG, love you. Bye for that.